In today's video, I am going to be breaking down advanced baseline inbounds plays that you can run at the high school level that can help you become very successful in scoring right off of the inbounds pass. So let's get down, let's check these out. Really quickly, if you want to have an unbeatable basketball zone defense, make sure to go check out my unbeatable basketball zone defense book that is down in the description below because it's going to trap the corners as well as double the low post without leaving any players open. So. Let's get down, let's check out these baseline inbounds plays. Okay, so in this first play, we're gonna have essentially two main options. Our first option is going to be player one setting that screen for player two. Depending on where player, two, player two's defender is, it comes down to what player two does next and what who player three passes to. So, as an example, our first option is to have the pin down screen on the player two. Player two will then sprint up and then cut in right away. We are trying to get this player to go over top of this screen right here. As soon as that player uses that screen, he is then going to then cut in between players four and five, and this is going to be an elevator screen where they close on player two's defender. Player two is going to pop out. This is going to be a pass to player two for the three point shot. And player one is going to be rolling off towards the basket as the secondary option. If neither of these players are open, player five is going to pop up as safety and player four is going to sprint towards the ball to be the third as well as fourth option in this play. If you're looking for a three point shot or have a deadly three point shooter and potentially a big man as a guard, this is actually a very beneficial play to run. So for example, if I was to run David, if I was having having my team from the summer and I was running David as my point guard. I would potentially have him setting that screen for Ilya who was a shooting guard and while Ilya was a bit shorter, that will help us because now David was a 5 foot 10 point guard at the grade 8, technically grade 7 in the United States level. And with that, setting a screen on a smaller guy and probably having a smaller defender on him anyways because he's our point guard would then allow us to have multiple different options whether or not the other team switched. If the other team switched, Ilya was almost a whole... Uh, was about six or seven inches shorter than David, if his man switched off on David, then David would have a mismatch. David would probably already have a mismatch in this play anyways because he would be the point guard. So if you've got a taller guard, this could be a great option. This next play I seen a few weeks ago and it was actually quite interesting and I really liked it. What we're gonna start with is player four on the outside, player five on the inside. Personally, I would actually run this with the big man, the actual tallest guy on the outside, but it depends on your team's makeup. Player five is going to then sprint up and cut in between players one and two. Player four is going to sprint up and he's going to cut around player two. The idea here is now players one and two are both facing this way and they're setting the elevator screen on player five. Meanwhile, player four is sprinting around this whole elevator screen set so that now player four could be open for the three point shot. And because of the elevator screen, we would have player five who is cutting towards the basket and this is going to give players three or player three two options. He can kick it out to player four for the three point shot or five in the low post. If neither of these options are open, player one is going to sprint towards the inbounder. This could be our third option. And player two is going to be running back as safety. He could also cut down towards the wing as well. There's a couple of different options for player two depending on how his man is being guarded. But basically how this looks is like this. And then player one after the screen cutting down if neither of those options are open. As you can tell, I really like elevator screens and they're actually quite useful. I love watching the Golden State Warriors and if you've got players who can shoot really well or even get into the low post and you can use the elevator style screen in a different way, this can really throw a lot of teams off. One of my favorite baseline inbounds plays that I'm 
I, I've seen in the past is this one right here, and I've seen it a lot at the college level. We're going to have player five. He's going to sprint up, act like he's about to set that screen, and player four is going to do the exact same. However, they're not going to set that screen. What they're going to do is they are going to sprint and then cut back around. Same as player four. Player four is going to do the same, but the opposite direction. They have to be super quick when they're doing this because obviously you only have five seconds to be out of bounds. So, player five would be our first option. We would have player four as our second option. After this screen, we would have player two sprinting down towards this post on this side. He could be our third option. And player one after the screen will be sprinting up and he will be our fourth option as a safety. You can do the exact same play, just the opposite direction. So you can have player five and player one acting like they're about to set that screen, but instead of setting that screen, they're going to loop back around players four and two, and then they're going to be attacking the basket once again. This will give player three multiple different options to inbound that ball, and then we can have player four after the screen sprint out to the corner and player two sprint out here as safety. This will again give us four options for this inbounds. Now this one's a line inbounds and this one is actually quite fun. We're going to have player four set that screen on player one and player two set that screen on player five. Player five is going to use that screen. He's going to then cut down towards the, the post on the right side and player one is going to be sprinting out towards that corner. After these screens are set and these players have moved, we will then have player four set that screen on player two and player two will use that screen and cut towards the basket as our third option. This all has to be ran super quick. After this screen, player four can pop up as safety as our last resort. So make sure to go check out my Unbeatable Basketball Zone defense book that is down in the description below. I hope it helps your team win more games. If it does, hit that like button and subscribe. I hope that these plays help too, and I'll see you guys again next time.